Hello everyone, it's Jen Scrappina Creations. Welcome back to another project for Not Too Shabby Shop. Today I'm using the really cute Peas on Earth stamp set by Lawn Fun. I'm going to create four cards with you today, three on screen with an entire process, and then one I'll just show you the footage because the video gremlins got me. But it's a really cute card so I wanted to at least show it to you. So we're going to start off as always with the coloring. So for my little peas, I decided to use a three color blend. So I'm using YG17, YG03, and YG21. I wanted to use that really bright light green, the YG21, to give them a really strong highlight. So I'm adding the shadows wherever they're head pieces so either the little earmuffs or the hat touch their body and then for those holding the sheet music I'm going to add a shadow above that as well. So I decided to go for brown. I didn't want to have a white paper so I'm using E44, E43, and E41 for that and I just like that it gives this sheet music a little bit of color just because I do have a lot of white with the snow. So yeah, I just wanted to give it a little bit of color, but if you wanted to keep it white, I would use the same combination that I'm using now for the hat, which is C3, C1, and then, um, and then using my colorless blender to blend that out to get just a little bit of shadow for the white. So for the purple, I used V25 and BV11, I believe, and then for the blue, I'm using B23 and B32, and for the pink, RV34 and RV11, so just two color blends. These are really small areas, so you just need a darker color and a lighter color. Now for the reds, I believe I used R39 and R29, and then that's the various color combinations I used for all the little hats on my peas. So now I just um, had stamped out a whole bunch of these and colored them in front of the television one night. So I just put them in my Misty. I like the foam when I'm stamping with a stamp block. So I'm just adding all the sweet little faces. You get a whole bunch of different ones in the stamp set so I'm just making sure they all have a few of the different faces. Super cute. And then I'm going to grab out my E79 just to color in the mustache. That cracks me up so much. And then adding a little bit of rosiness to their cheeks with the R20 and I feel like this really brings them alive. So that'll finish the coloring. I did cut all these out by hand. It was super easy. Um, so we're moving on to card number one. So I've already gone ahead and used some tumbled glass distress oxide for my sky here. I just wanted to save as much time as possible. I have a ton of Christmas stuff I haven't got through yet and I really wanna share it with you. So I'm just trying my best to do some things in advance. Um, so I can get more videos out to you. So I hope you enjoy them. But yeah, so for this one, I'm just using up some Doodle Bug pattern paper. These are from uh, previous years. I think one of the ones I'm using is Christmas Town, and then the other one I might have grabbed a couple of pieces from Milk and Cookies, but they're no longer available. The newest one is out. I have not purchased it. I still haven't used the one from last year. But anyway, so I'm just grabbing a few of these. I've used some of the images from a couple of the other stamp sets. So I have the first one there was Christmas Dreams. So I used the Christmas tree from that and the presents. And then the Ho Ho Holidays. I used, what did I use from that? Oh, that little single present. And I will bring that stamp back again for the third card, I believe. So because the sentiment reads, Oh Christmas P, kind of like Oh Christmas Tree, I thought it would be fun to add some of the peas to this larger Christmas tree image, just to kind of play on that sentiment a little bit. So I also prepped a lot of my sent sentiments. Uh, so I did some heat embossing on black cardstock with some silver embossing. 
and I think that looks really pretty. And then I also did some stamping on some white cardstock and then used my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and some clear embossing for that. So you'll see me use those two different combinations of sentiments. So I'm just going ahead here and adding my peas to the tree. <laughs> I think that looks really cute. Now this single present, I just wanted an odd number of presents just because odd numbers tend to look better to the eye. So I just wanted to round that out there with the odd numbers. And then I also uh, heat embossed these little music notes in the speech bubbles. So I did that here with my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and some clear embossing. And here's my parents' little cat, Dexter. He made an appearance. He was checking out all those cute peas. So just to finish up, I'm using some of my Nouveau glitter pen there to add some glitter and sparkle and then some glossy accents for the star and the Christmas baubles. And that finishes off that first card. Super cute. So for the second card, I wanted to play off the sentiment Peas on Earth. So I'm using an oldie but goodie paper pad, the Knit Picky by Lawn Fawn. And I just picked out the white um, knit pattern paper here. I used the reversed stitched scallop circle window dies, always a tongue twister, to cut out a circle in the center of my pattern paper. And then I just used some sponge sugar there to add some nice pink distress oxide to the back of my card just to get it a little bit of color. So I decided to add a snowbank here, and this is from, I believe, the Winter Village stamp set. I wanted it to look like it was a winter scene on our world, and so I thought that would be fun. It also gave me a little bit more of a larger platform to work on. So I'm using the Heffy Doodle Spaced Out stamp set for my Earth. There is a Lawn Fawn stamp set that has the earth in it. I don't have it, so I'm just using what I have. And then I added one of the peas with the sheet music there, and then the lamp post that comes in the stamp set as well. And I think that looks really cute. Um, I would have loved to have put more than one pea on the earth, seeing the peas on earth in the sentiment is plural, but I think it's fine. People kind of get the gist of it. So this bow comes from the Christmas Dreams stamp set and I use it twice for my cards. I thought it was really pretty just to add some decoration to the sentiment. And again, I'm going to add three of those little speech bubbles with the music notes in it to look like our little pea on earth is singing. So very easy design. You could make a bunch of these fairly quickly once you had the images cut up, but I do really love the added touch of the snow bank there that our little pea is standing on. So just some final touches for this card as well. Going to use some glitter with my glitter brush pen and that will be it. I think I do go back and add some glossy accents to the light. So we're on to card number three. Again, just using uh, some pattern paper from Doodlebug. So the red sheet has uh, a pattern with hearts on it, and then the one that I have in my hand with the snowflakes is from a Doodlebug as well. So I went ahead and cut the red one out of the largest Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle, and then I used a smaller one for my focal point or the scene background for my little scene here. I'm using the Santa and the sleigh from the Ho Ho Holiday set, as well as the little uh, Santa sack there. I thought it would be fun to have all the little peas in the sleigh and also around Santa. Just thought it would be cute. <laughs> Just adding a little bit extra to make this more of a scene than using the singular peas. But you know how much I love using my smaller stamp sets. So this one is kind of a medium size. It measures four by three. And so you get the three little peas, you get the lamp post, and then some music notes. 
And then you also get a number of sentiments. And I used three different ones, I think, for this particular card. The only thing I wish that it would have included is the one P there with um, the little hat on and not with the music notes doesn't have any legs or feet. And I wish that they would have included that in the stamp set. So if you wanted it to have the feet like the ones that have the music sheets, then you could have stamped that out. So for me, that was the only thing missing. But other than that, I think the stamp set is super cute and it was really easy to bring in some other stamp sets to create some really fun scenes. So you can see here, I piled three of my peas into the sleigh and I have Santa's sack with all the gifts in there as well. And then I'm gonna add three more peas onto the ground there. I just cut out some glitter cardstock. I used the Lawn Fawn uh, stitched hillside borders for that. So a really easy card design, but again, super cute. I am going to add my stamp block on to that just to make sure all of the images stay put on that glitter cardstock. I played around with the sentiments here. Of course, I ended up going back for the Happy Holidays to where I originally had it, but I just wanted to show you there's lots of options here of where you could actually add the sentiments. So the main sentiment that I'm using is the Happy Holidays, and then I'm bringing in the joy to the world at the top there, so that gives you the sense of that's what our little peas are singing here with Santa Claus. Now I am using my Barely Art Glue, which is great for adhering images to glitter cardstock. The particular glitter cardstock that I'm using is, it's just an inexpensive brand, and I find I have a really hard time having stuff stick to it. I prefer the Lawn Fawn glitter cardstock, which is the one that I always link to down below, as well as all the other products that I'm using in today's video. But yeah, I much, uh, I, I like the Lawn Fawn glitter cardstock much better. So we're just gonna slow this down here. I'm gonna show you the three cards I made and then I'm gonna show you the fourth one, which is actually a slimline and I absolutely love this. I used a Heffy Doodle slimline die here and these little small windows are perfect for smaller stamp sets like this. I will have some pictures of those cards on my social media if you wanna see them up close. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you really soon in the next one. And don't forget to go check out the Not Too Shabby Shop. Bye everybody.